Before we look at the product rule, one of the key ideas that we need to be able to do is some more tricky factorization. It's really to enable you to put your answer into a required format, which will make it a lot easier to solve um, and find stationary points and things like that. So it, it's a very useful skill to be able to factorize things that look like these four expressions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through each of these and hopefully you can pick up the key concepts ready for when we look at the product role in the later videos. So let's look at this first one. 3 lots of 2x plus 1 all cubed plus x plus 2 lots of 2x plus 1 squared. So what you're looking for is a common factor to both terms. So both terms meaning this term here and this term here. So you should be able to see that both of them have a 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 can definitely be pulled out the front. But the fact is that that one's got 3 2x plus 1s and that one's got 2 of them. So they both have 2, at least 2. So 2x plus 1 squared can be brought out the whole thing. Then I'm going to have a larger bracket. So 2x plus 1 squared has been pulled out, and what's going to be left here is going to be the 3 and one of the remaining 2x plus 1 brackets. So 3 lots of 2x plus 1. And here, if I've pulled the 2x plus 1 squared out, I'm going to have left just that x plus 2. And then you want to simplify this, so this will be 2x plus 1 all squared, and here we're going to have 3 lots of 2x is 6x, plus x there, so that's 7x. 3 lots of 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 5. So we're going to have 2x plus 1 all squared times 7x plus 5. Okay? So if you were then going to put this equal to 0, it is then very easy to solve that problem. So let's look at the next one, number 2. So for this one, we have a 5x plus 2 squared which can be brought out of both terms. So 5x plus 2 squared comes out the front. I'm going to be left with 6 lots of a 5x plus 2 there. And over here I'm going to have that x minus 1. So simplifying that second bracket, we're going to have 6 lots of 5x, so 30x plus an x is 31x. Then I've got 6 lots of 2 is 12, take away 1 is 11. So 31x plus 11. Let's go with this next one now. We have a 3 minus x to the power of 4, and we have a 3 minus x to the power of 5. So there's 4 of them there, and at least 4 of them there, so I can bring out 3 minus x to the power of 4. So in the larger bracket, I'll just have, well, 1. Because 3 minus x to the 4 times 1 will make that. And then I've got the 5 lots of another remaining 3 minus x. So now I just want to simplify what's in that square bracket. So we've got 3 minus x to the power 4. Then I've got 1 plus 5 lots of 3, so 1 plus 15 is 16. And I've got 5 lots of minus x, so minus 5x. Okay, and that's the fully factorised form. We've then got this fourth one, and uh, it looks absolutely ghastly, but it works in much the same way. So these are my two terms, and so I'm looking for what is common to both. So both of them have this 3x minus 2. This one has three of them, that one has two of them, so I can pull two of them at least out. So 3x minus 2 squared can come out the front. Both of them also have 2x plus 1, okay? This one has one of them, this one has two of them. So I can pull one of them out. So what's left is I've got four lots of the remaining 3x minus 2 there. And then I've got nine lots of the remaining 2x plus 1. So I just need to simplify this. So those two brackets can remain the same. 
And finally, I've got four lots of 3x, so 12x, plus 18x, so that will make 30x. So 12x plus 18x. And then I've got four lots of minus 2 is minus 8, plus 9, so minus 8 plus 9 is plus 1. And that is in fully factorised form.